Now, each team has to come up with two dishes that meet the Leafs' dietary requirements. A fish dish with two sides and a pasta dish. Okay, pick a fish. What's the best way to fish? Halibut. 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 Okay, so pick halibut. And on the sides, I'm thinking like a sweet potato and like green beans. I'm thinking in my head, we need a pasta that has a lot of protein in it. We're going to do pasta fagiol yes. with uh, the pancetta. Yeah. And then we're going to cook the pasta inside the sauce. We have those big, big bowls. Yeah. And that's going to stay good inside of there. And it's hearty and healthy. So that's going to give the players nutrition and energy. Where's those beans? Let's get this organized, kids. The blue team gets their halibut, pasta, and side vegetables started. But the white team still can't agree on their menu. Where are the tasting spoons? Uh, right over here, Pino. All right, blue team, we have 45 minutes oh, left. we're laughing. Good job, team. We're going to put the fish in at half an hour because it takes 12 minutes. Yep, perfect. Are you concerned you're overcrowding the pan? I'm definitely worried, but we have four slots, and they want all 50 cooked. While the blue team is on schedule with their cook, the white team is struggling with Dale's choice of fish. So many bones. Hell. How's the fish going, guys? Brutal. Brutal? Eric and I essentially got the short end of the stick. There's like 57 portions of fish. That's a lot of deboning. How many you got? I just did two so far only. I just started. Woo! This one has a lot. Like, I was first pick, and he put me on a stupid task of taking bones out of a fish. It was definitely a waste of skill. Hurry up with that. It's taking too long, OK? Dale, who chose the fish? Who chose I chose the trout. We had a choice between trout or pickerel. The pickerel bones are very hard to get out. We don't did have you, enough time. Did you check the pickerel? Was there any bone? Did you check no, it? No, chef, I It might have been filet. Get me a piece of pickerel. Get me a piece of pickerel here. Dale made a horrible pick in going with the trout, and all of a sudden, we're in a death spiral. We're really struggling at this point. The fish is a lot bonier than we could have ever imagined. I yes. made a mistake. This you is fully de Look, it's fully de -boned. It's a yes, fillet. Chef. So next time, check. Yes, Always chef. check. OK, go. Yes, chef. With only 30 minutes to go before the home cooks serve lunch to the Leafs, it's too late to replace Dale's choice of fish. So the white team is stuck with deboning the trout. <laughs> He should have checked the products. He should have used the pickerel because he was filet. It was skin. He could have used it. He's lost complete control of his kitchen right now. Oh, my god. As the white team tries to get a handle on their fish. Help him work on those potatoes. They got to go in the oven. Pino is running the blue team's kitchen like a well-oiled machine. My fish is going in. We are on top of the world. Everything is coming together. We just got a few things to take care of, follow through, check on. This is easy street now. Yeah, don't worry. I'm watching. I'm watching you, Chef. While things heat up in the white team's kitchen, the Leafs finish their morning training and head for the showers. This is your 15-minute warning. 15 minutes to go before you have to serve lunch. Hell, man. Hey, get those fish in the oven. Get them in the oven, all of them, all of them. Wow. We need Oh, God. Be careful. Be careful. Our kitchen is chaos. Dale's not a very good leader. When you're catering an event like that, you got to work with your team. But Dale kind of just seemed to like run around and like yell at people. Please do not throw me under the bus. Come on, guys. We do not want to go home today. No, let's do this. I feel like everybody's going to let me take the fall for this if it goes down. Don't worry, baby. We got you. Nobody's going home. Not today. Medic! What'd you do? Go, go, go. Next thing you know, Kayla split her finger down the middle and she disappears. This is really going to hurt us in the kitchen. It's not very hard to slice a tomato. This should be the simplest task in the kitchen. I what can't let my team down. Here? I need to get back in there. Let's put the bandaid on. With only five minutes left before the Leafs arrive, the white team is racing to finish with one cook down, while the blue team is already setting up for service in the rinkside dining room. We got the pasta fagiol. We got our sweet potato, green beans. We got our halibut. We're looking good. Green beans got to go over there. Put the pasta here and the salad at the end, OK? You're the boss, Pino. Pitted against the blue team's pasta fagiol is the white team's penne pasta in an herb puree. Make sure everything's pretty, guys, OK? And for the fish entree, the white team's serving up a baked trout with carrots and asparagus, while the blue team is plating a halibut poached in oil with sweet potatoes and green beans. The leaves are on their way. Get it done. Come on. We are about to serve 51 people. If we don't pull this off, we're losing. We're going to the pressure test. Let's just do this. Not losing it, guys. Here they come. Once a Leaf player chooses a fish or pasta dish from the blue team, 
they must take the same dish from the white team and then vote for their favorite after lunch. Okay, we need a new tray of fish. Okay, this is hot on my fingers, girls. Thank God I'm a plumber. Let's move it. If either team runs out of food or slows down, they could lose a vote that could cost them the challenge. Just grab one second, that sell, for you. Sell, sell, one second. I understand that. Sell, 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 guys, sell, I'm sell. so sorry to make you wait. I have no clue what Kayla's fucking doing at this point. Yeah. I could tell you a joke, but I'm not very funny, so. Um. <laughs> With a blue and white dish in front of everyone, the challenge now boils down to a question of taste. Tell me, give me some commentary. Early on, I was leaning towards the blue team. But in the end, Trout won me over. So I'm going white. You're going white. I'm going team white. With lunch now over, it's time for the Leafs to cast their vote. Here we go. Each diner must drop the puck for either the white team or the blue team. And their decision will make sure one team faces a pressure test that will eliminate at least one home cook. Good job. Another one for the blue. God, I can't take this. Yeah! Yeah. Another puck, another puck, another puck. Pucks on pucks on pucks. God, those kids, man. They shouldn't play with people's emotions like that. Yeah. It's becoming a landslide. <laughs> we were just getting crushed. Another one for the blue. One more vote, the blue team will win it. Blue, blue, blue. Team Blue's taking this puppy home. <laughs> we earned it. We earned it. Congratulations, Blue Team. You are the winners. Well done. I am absolutely ecstatic. Just made a meal for the Toronto Maple Leafs, and I brought my team to victory. It's the greatest feeling ever. You will be catering an exclusive event at Thompson Landry Art Gallery, and the food has to look as good as it tastes. I have no experience with fancy artwork, so I'm definitely a little bit concerned. You'll be serving over 100 guests, including some of the country's most prominent artists. Needless to say, their expectations are extremely high. I've got to serve 100 fancy you-know-whos in an art gallery. Hello. How spicy do we want the samosas? Not too spicy. Not crazy. OK. I was a little surprised at some of the choices that Dora made, to be honest with you. She had the option of choosing someone like Dale, someone like Josh, who can pull out the rabbit from the hat as far as the refined cooking style. I think Dora took it personal. Uh -huh. And Danielle was very strategic. She chose people that have certain skills in different areas. And I think that's going to give her a great result. I'm feeling pretty good about this. We've got more of a refined style. We love nice plating. And I think we're a little more familiar with can of haze than the red team's going to be. OK. So Dora. Yes. Tell me what's going on. We're doing an inside out samosa. Tamara's in charge of that bad boy. Why are we making it inside out? Because we want it to be one bite. A big samosa had too much wrapper and it'd be too doughy. Yeah. So we just want to make it still light and presentable. Oh, fantastic. So you're doing the potatoes. I am. I'm doing the fillings. Are you going to remove the peel? No, we're not going to remove the peel today. Why not? Because that is going to eat up a lot of time. These potatoes are super small and very weirdly shaped. Oh, I don't know. It's not going to be as refined, you know? If you leave the peel on. Chef told us our dish is not refined, so I will peel every single baby potato if I have to. Pino, aren't you concerned that prosciutto, when you cook it, becomes a little salty? We want a little bit of a crunch. Greasy fingers, maybe for the guests afterwards. This is a bit of a problem here, guys. Danielle? Sorry? This is leathery, and it is salty. It could be the biggest problem. I'll leave it with you. Good appreciate luck. the input. I think that's going to be salty enough with the rest of the no, components. No, it's going to be way too salty. I'm sorry, but that grossed me out. We're not going to be able to get rid of the salt, okay, so I say scrap it. They better figure something out quick. Hello there, red team. Hi, chef. So what have we got here? Chef Michael comes by to taste the samosas. This here is extremely overpowered. I know. that yes. I have the same concern, too. When he's reiterating my concern about these flavors being too strong. That would scare me to be eating that. I'm starting to freak out. Tamara, look at me. That's very strong for me. So is that going to yeah. tone down a bit? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got a lot of trust in Tamara. But if a guest eats this thing and they spit it out, we're done. 
That samosa filling is way over the top. It's something I do not want to eat, I don't even want to serve, and it won't go out of this kitchen if they don't fix it. Over on the red team, Tamara continues to adjust the flavors on the samosa filling. I need you to taste this. It's hot, Polly. Oh. I'm starting to feel a little bit better about the samosa. There's a little ray of sunshine, I hope. Those are delicious. Come on, you're late, come on! Finally, the red team is out the door with their caviar and creme fraiche on endive. <laughs> While the blue team is already in the gallery serving their tuna tartare on a crispy wonton. We are a hot mess, but guess what? This hot mess is putting out some good food. But they unexpectedly run out of serving options for their hot canapé. Dora, what do you want the samosas on? Uh, you just please make a choice. The only vessel left is a small wine glass. What do you think of this? It's a little weird. And in this challenge, presentation is as important as taste. I cannot put a samosa inside a cup. If it's inside, they have to reach their hands Okay, we, yeah. And so I just start putting the cups upside down and plating them on top. That's perfect. It's an inside out, upside down samosa. They're gonna love it, it's innovative. Inside out samosa on an upside down cup. Ooh, and they are vegan. Good. That's fantastic. <laughs> this is the one that you worry about. I see big smiles everywhere. That's my kind of dish. It's just balance, cumin, coriander seed, chili. Everything is just working all together. It's all balanced. Damn, it was good. That is a restaurant quality dish. Yep, absolutely. Hey, guys, I need a hand on this dessert. With a final push, the sweet canapes from both teams are on their way. we got to get that last tray out, guys. Come on, push, push. Blue team is serving a chocolate raspberry petit four. And the gallery patrons give it rave reviews. <laughs> oh. oh, yes, I love that. Delicious. Sweetness, perfect, very moist, perfectly done. There's only one thing wrong with it. There's not enough of it. I need more of that. It's delicious. And finally, the red team is presenting a spiced orange petty four. The, the contrast of the orange and the chocolate, the that's really such a really classic. Really yeah, that's a win. Really nice floral notes with the orange combo. I like the fact they have some edible flowers on here. It's pretty. It's a nice way to end a cocktail reception. Sweet ending. Our decision came down to just two canopies. And tonight, in this gallery, the best team is the red team. Oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? This plumber girl just made a room full of 100 of the fanciest people happy. <laughs> oh my god, it was your samosa. I was your samosa. Congratulations, Red Team. Your samosas were edible masterpieces. Your two hours starts now. In today's team challenge, the home cooks have to prepare a hearty steak dinner for 151 troops. But first, they have to master an entirely new cooking environment the military field kitchen. What's this? I need help here, somebody. There's no kettles with boiling water. There's a pot in a locked oven that you pull out full of water. It's giant. It's nothing like the Master Chef Canada kitchen. Guys, behind you with the knife. So they've got the real deal here. These are real Canadian field kitchens. <sighs> I mean, this is not luxury by any stretch of the imagination. So really, I think at the end of the day, the exercise here is really to bring out who has the strongest leadership. Hey! has elapsed. You have now 60 minutes left to cook 151 steaks for some very hungry troops. All right, what do we have in here? A barbecue sauce. That tastes raw. Wow. I would speed this up. Higher heat, divide it into two pans going at the same time to reduce that right down. Otherwise, you're going to have just tomato sauce on yeah, top of a steak. And I wouldn't want to eat that. Claudio told us what we already knew. We were not off to a good start. OK, what's going on, guys? What was the feedback? Danielle, can we fix this, yes or no, or are we botching it? I don't know if we can fix it, but we'll try. Work with each other. Come on, guys, this is for the troops. Along with the sauce, each team is prepping two sides to serve with their steaks. After I blanch Brussels sprouts, throw them in a bin, 
that is so finite. Oh my God. And I'm thinking, ooh boy. So it turns out our bin had to soap in it. That's what? Half of my Brussels sprouts are now in soapy water. Can't believe we lost those Brussels I know. sprouts. <laughs> I'm so worried that we just prepped all these Brussels sprouts and there's not enough Brussels sprouts. There's a whole thing of potatoes still over there. I need to get those potatoes out. We have enough potatoes, Julie, OK? Kayla has made the choice to no longer prep potatoes. I'm going to keep doing them. No. Done on potatoes. You're done on potatoes. And I know this is a mistake. Let's get this going. Get those Brussels sprouts in the oven. We don't have that many prepped yet. Pino! OK, hold on. We don't have enough Brussels sprouts. What can we throw in the Brussels sprouts? Some kale? Kale? Quickly, I'm thinking. Beans, let's put beans in it. I need to add beans. Yeah. Okay, one more scoop. You have now 30 minutes left. So the steaks better be on the grill soon. So let's get those steaks on. Danielle, how are you doing, hon? Morale is up. You betcha. Woo! OK, guys, how many steaks you got cooked ready to go? Uh, I have a... Uh... Not too many by the looks of it. No, not yet. Barely any, guys. Just when I think we're doing really well... Pino, get down here, man. Yes, chef. So I run down. Look, you've got... 15 steaks done. Get them going. We gotta get them going, chef. Understood, chef. Don't waste time. In this moment, I'm thinking there's definitely a chance that we might not finish cooking all 151 steaks. Load up those grills. 10 minutes. You have 10 minutes left. 151 troops need to be fed. Okay, Eric, get them on the grill, man. Eric and I get those steaks loaded up as best we can, and we're just moving, we're flipping, we're feeling, we're smelling, we're grilling, and it is like meat a flying. There's this lineup that doesn't seem to end. And I was nervous. I'm like, are we going to have enough to serve all these people? I tilt my head up, and I see this long line of troops, and I want to vomit. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, ah! 4, 3, 2, 1. Go, 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 go. I got this. I got this. I got this. Service starts now. 151 soldiers will receive a steak dinner from both the red and blue teams and vote for their favorite. Hello. There you are. If either team runs out of any food, their vote automatically goes to the other team. There you go, sir. Thank you. The red team is serving roast potatoes and a Brussels sprout and bacon hash with their steak. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Again. While the blue team is pairing their steak and barbecue sauce with Brussels sprouts and beans and a couscous salad. Couscous salad. Thank you very much. You are. Enjoy. Blue's the way to go. Woo! Go blue. <laughs> Go Blue! While the Blue Team's service is fast and confident... Thank you very much. Have a wonderful ...Kayla day. is giving her steaks a last-minute sear on the flat top. Get it a little hot for you. And it's holding up the line. Can we speed this along? Kayla, we need the line to move, so no more grilling. Just do it. Yeah, you got it. They swung you down over there? A little bit. A little bit? Oh, boy! Oh, are they so down! Oh, Let's go, Blue! Once the troops receive meals from both teams, they head into the dining area. This Brussels sprout bacon thing is delish. I'm really enjoying the steak. <laughs> Medium rare, you got it. It's partway through service, and the red team has gotten their speed under control. Thank you. Kayla. Yep. I'm worried. This is all we have left. You have three more plates. My stomach is sinking because I know that every single troop member that does not get Brussels sprouts on their plate is an automatic vote to the blue team. If you're not a Brussels sprout eater, we won't be offended. Brussels sprouts out. Brussels sprouts are out. I know that this is going to cost us the challenge. Could we give you guys extra potatoes? Um, Kayla, that's not a great idea. I knew we weren't going to have enough potatoes, and we told Kayla that. We're almost out of potatoes, too, by the way. <laughs> Hi, how are you? And she just said, just keep smiling. That extra pan would have been perfect. Julie portioned them. So Julie was completely 100% responsible for the potatoes. Kayla, when I wanted to do the extra potatoes, this is why. The last of the potatoes, Kayla, were done. Hey. I'm very sorry, sir. I don't have any more slides to give you. I apologize. Come on through, guys. Don't be shy. Come on through. Oh, they're finished all their sides. Oh, oh, they ran out. I really hope you guys enjoy our sides. Yeah. They're lovely. <laughs> oh, what the ran out of sides. Choose the team who has some sides. In my opinion, the red team had hit the steak bang on. I'm going to have to say the blue plate. I thought overall it had a lot of flavor. I hear that there was a little problem. Choose the team who has some sides. I'll be right back. Excuse me. Blue's the way to go. Blue's the way to go. Just when I started getting some confidence. Pino! Pino, I need you down here right now. So I run down. I've had a complaint. It's cold. It should not be served cold. Replated. Fresh vegetables, fresh couscous. Very sorry, chef. ASAP, OK? Hustle, hustle, hustle. This is one cold steak that's come back. 
How many did we send out like this? Is that hot enough? We're gonna lose this competition because we're sending out cold steaks. It's embarrassing. Thank you, Pino. Excuse me, one fresh hot steak. Thank you very much. Please enjoy it and accept our apologies. We're very confident with what we did, but there's a chance that Red could win this. We got a steak sent back to us that was cold. Who knows, maybe a lot of our steaks could have been cold. I am dreading another pressure test, so I'm hoping a miracle happens. Red team, blue team. It's time to find out which team's dish most impressed our Canadian heroes. Will it be the red team's steak with roast potatoes and Brussels sprout hash? or the blue teams with couscous salad and a Brussels sprout bean mixture. The votes have been counted. The winning team with 107 of 151 votes is... This is mobile food. It can't be fussy food. It has to be food that's not going to get all over you. The ideal is a handheld snack. So a nice meatball sandwich, a taco, would be something that I would do. My role is to do the grilled polenta. Julie's doing the sauce. Eric is helping with the meatballs. And Danielle is a swing. I'm really excited about our menu. But oh my god, Eric is all over the freaking place, jumping into the truck, jumping out of the truck. This is me as Eric. Ah! I need garlic in here, period, because we're brazy anyways. Do you know how long it's going to take me to get all that garlic? Did Julie caramelize onions first? Yes, she is. As a team captain, Eric is afraid to delegate. I think this is a real problem. So glad we picked Mexican. It was a great choice. Tamara, yes, give me chef. a couple of minutes. Tell me what you're working on. What's yes, on the chef. menu? We're going to do a flank steak taco with uh, a red and uh, green sauce and some charred corn. Okay. We're also going to do a shrimp ceviche. You're going to do a ceviche? Yes, chef. Personally, I would say drop the shrimp. Stick to one, make it delicious. OK. All right, you can yes. do that? Yes, Chef. Pino, you hear that? No shrimp. Chef Mike would suggest to scrap the ceviche. Great idea. Now our menu is more focused, and right away we get to work. Salt, salt, salt. Yeah, 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 yeah. 60 minutes has gone by. There's a big crowd building up, and you'll be feeding them in 60 minutes. 60 minutes? Come on, guys. We've got to move a little bit faster here. My money is on the Italian right now. It's simple, people understand it. It seems like the, uh, the blue team is complicating things with all these different ingredients. They gotta remember that two people are serving. Two of them will not be actively preparing food. Start to complicate any of the dishes, they're gonna fail miserably. But even with their new pared down menu, the red team still has over 400 meatballs to make. The home cooks are knee deep in their most public team challenge yet. Eric, you see the crowd? Oh, massive running their own food trucks in Toronto's Nathan Phillips Square. But while a huge crowd gathers, the red team is still struggling under Eric's frenzied leadership. Eric, how long were these in for? I don't know. Uh, oh, this is burning. What the f dude? What happened? If us ladies don't take control and calm them down, we're screwed. I'm really worried that there's no organization in terms of how we're going to get these subs out. The baskets are going from here to over there to here. You have to be organized. You're absolutely right, Danielle. OK, then move all the to the left. Danielle's making crucial decisions, and I'm agreeing. Yes. Danielle's helping me stay calm. I don't want to be frantic in a team situation, because that will just make the whole team frantic. Just before service, we all pull it together. Yeah, so just go. take out like this, load it up with the meatballs. That's, That's right. One minute. See this big crowd behind me? They're going to be attacking the food truck in one minute. OK, let's start putting stuff together right now. Where are the taco shells? Ten, nine, eight. Let's go right now. Let's make some right now. Three, two, one, now. Time's up. I see a huge, gigantic line coming over to our truck, so now I'm even panicking more. Hi there. Sure. One taco, one behind. Let's go. Do one order. Two. What the hell? Our lineup's not moving because we're not getting food out there quick enough. Nine total. Nine tacos now. We need a station to be clear. It's just a mess in the food truck at this point. Promo. Fuck. Pandemonium. Mike is slow. Gently placing meat on the cheese, putting a nice dollop of sauce. It's cute for at home, but not a food truck. 
Tamara, I think you should be here. Mike should be there. Yeah. Okay? Maria's like, Mike, just, just get in the friggin' window. And I was like, okay, good. That's where I want to be. I want to talk to the customers anyways. Everyone's just working their tails off. Where is the onion? It's the red team's meatball sub versus the blue team's steak taco. 15 minutes! 15 minutes! Service will be finished! The blue team is struggling with their service time. Here we are. Sorry about the wait. But over at the red truck... Eric! Yes, sir. We have a major problem here. A raw meatball has ground service it's to right a complete here. halt. Yes, that sir. is raw. We're screwed. That is unacceptable. I could just see Eric's heart, like, drop. I'm absolutely devastated. This meatball could be the reason I get eliminated. OK, I need one replated right away so I can take it back to the lady. I don't want to keep her waiting. Yes, sir. They give her an extra meatball? Yes, yes sir. sir. Keep an eye on those meatballs. We cannot allow them to go out raw. That freaks me out. We have to give that money back and it could make or break us. It's bottom line today. How much money can we bring in? You guys, we need to get that line. It's all about money. We I know, but we need to be a lot more careful. Cooking meatballs, there's ground pork in it, so 100% I'm worried about raw centers, so I have to make sure the insides are cooked. These are all perfectly cooked. These are all cooked. While the red team loses time double-checking Eric's meatballs, the blue team takes the opportunity to steal back some customers. This is my big chance. The red team put on a plate that's raw. And I think that's great. This is our time to step ahead. We need someone to go work the crowd, you know, do some magic. So I quickly grab a dish, and I start working the crowd, showing people, other customers who, who bought food from the town truck, look what we have. How you doing over there? Have we tried the Mexican yet? Mexicana. We have a marinated flank steak in there. This is just what comes on the side. We have two different types of craft cheese. One's spicy, one's not. I'm Italian, they're going to go to Napoli, but today I'm going to go to Mexico. I'm the Italian who's converted today. So I tell him, I'm Italian, but I've gone Mexican. Tell him Pino sent you, and they'll take good care of you. One minute, you have one minute left. Right, here we go. Andale, andale. One more, one more, guys. We're rocking it, Eric. We're rocking it. Can you just ask them if they want spicy or not spicy cheese? We're using the craft habanero cheese okay. and the Tex-Mex. Sure. Here, we'll give you two subs and an extra meatball each. In the dying moments of the food truck challenge, Thank both teams box. are fighting to win over the final few customers. There's no wait in our line over here. No wait. Come over here. Our line's moving way faster. Thank you very much, sir. They are hustling. And a service, and we know we did well. But I think, did we as a team do enough? My confidence was blown the minute I saw that raw meatball. I feel like I 100% let my team down, and we don't deserve to win. Now, it's time to find out who sold more. The red team with their meatball sub, or the blue team with their steak taco. The team with the lowest sales will face the pressure test. The winning team is the... Team. <laughs> Makes me sick to my stomach that we are literally $15 short. $15. I was a leader, I let my team down, and I let a raw meatball out. Three tacos at the end. At the end, three tacos. You're gonna be doing the a hell of it. Who can sear us? Yes. And then you can be fast on that? Yes. Okay, yeah. today is the Day, yeah. Float every stop. I want everything perfect. We have plenty of time. Just execution. Let's do this, guys. You take your fish out. Let's go. You're gonna take your time, and you're gonna do it perfectly, right? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You just need to work a little bit faster, okay? The key to a great service is a case of delegating, planning, organization. Get rid of your board. Go. Get rid of your board. Clean up, and then do this. Come on. You got to have the right people doing the right job. How many times do you make aioli, Mike? A uh, lot. Exactly. Lots, chef. You know. The two team captains have to be able to delegate who's going to do which job and check in with them routinely. All right, guys, that's it. Get on the move. We got our groove now, guys. That's yes. it. We right. got our groove. We know what we're doing here. OK, you guys, let's go. Get that fish done right now. You need to get that in that thing right now, OK? Get rid of anything that is not service related. Yes, chef, we got it all under control, chef. We're not going to disappoint you. As the teams finalize their prep, the restaurant starts to fill up with patrons. All right, listen up. The restaurant is open. Yes, 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 yes. Showtime is about to begin. At any moment, you will have your first order. For the appetizer course, the customers can choose either the beet salad with walnuts, yogurt, and pickled onion, or the seared scallops with smoked roe and squid ink aioli. Chefs, new order in. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Blue team, three yes, beets, one scallop. Yes, three chef. beets, one scallop. Yes, chef. 
Red team. Yes, yes, chef. Two beats, two scallops. Let's get going. How are we on scallops? I'm just about to flip, just finishing the sear. The red team gets their beet salad up first. Serve a chef. Why isn't the beet in the center of the plate? Not good enough. Yes, chef. Over. Yes, chef. Come on, guys, details. Call me Tamara. Wow, Farida, that looks amazing. Excellent. Thank you, chef. Let's go, guys. Come on. That's it, guys. Very nice. Thank you, chef. Perfect. Service, two scallops, two beets, table four. As the blue team's appetizers hit the table, on the red team, Tamara struggles with her plating. Service, chef. It looks dry, more dressing, more olive oil. Let's yes, go. Chef. Give me a beet salad that you're proud of, okay? Yes, chef. Another beet, three more scallops, blue team, let's go. That's beautiful. Thank Marita, you, that's, that's the Marita I know. Thank you, chef. Fantastic. Order, chef. All right. Let's check out these plates. Yep, chef. Tamara. Yes, chef. These beets look beautiful. Finally, we have a competition here. You're starting to plate like you mean it, right? Yes, chef. Eric is on the scallops. The scallops are being cooked to perfection. Are those scallops cold, Pino? No, chef. They feel warm. Chef, coming up, four scallops. Nice looking scallops. Thank you, chef. Four scallops, table one. We're doing great. I'm feeling pretty good with appetizers. We, we seem to have our groove going. 30 seconds, guys, we're starting. Ordering, blue team, five halibut, three venison. Yes, chef. I'm cooking both stars of the dishes, so if I screw it up, there is no dish. Red team. Yes, chef. Ordering. Yes, chef. Six venison, two halibut. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yeah, that was six venison. Uh, the broccoli goes with the halibut, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. Guys, I don't hear any food cooking. And the kale and the, the, the mushrooms go with the venison. You don't have to do it right now. You have lots of time. You don't, you have, don't have a lot of time, actually. You have very little time. Yes, chef, I understand. In dinner service, it becomes really real. The, the mood is very tense. The tricky part, now you have to synchronize halibut and venison. Yep. Perfect, they chef. both take different times to cook, right? Perfect, chef. So I'm on the venison, and it's not the easiest protein to cook. Fuck, that's hot. Kayla's gonna cook the halibut. I'm dropping. No, we need to get his venison on first. And Tamara's gonna plate both dishes. You're both quiet, hey. leave. Kayla, not yet. I gotta drop it or it's gonna be a dead pan. Don't no, leave no, the no, pan, no, no, move no. it off the heat. No, Kayla, no, don't no. do it. I feel like I can't breathe and I just have to pump out these dishes. Let me drop, let me no, drop. No, not no, yet. No, no. See, I don't want you putting that halibut in until he's put the venison in the oven. You yeah. got it. But despite Tamara's instructions, Kayla decides to start the halibut. How far is this away? This is six minutes away, Chef. You sure about that? Yes, Chef. Six minutes? It's six minutes here. Yeah. So if this is six minutes away and your venison's six then minutes away, to rest for what about minutes. resting? Yeah. So your venison's ten minutes away. Yeah. So in ten minutes, this fish will be overcooked. Okay, Chef. Right? Kayla, what did I tell you about the fish? Kayla, if you're not going to listen, you're going to be off the station. Dead fish. Dead, Dead, fish. Dead, Dead fish. fish. Get a new one. Over on the blue team, Eric has his proteins under control, and the first dishes are ready to leave the kitchen. Some nice looking plates here. Service. But the red team continues to struggle, and one of their tables is getting restless. Can I talk you into staying just five more minutes to give us another chance to try and get your food out? Okay. Five minutes. We have to go. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. All right. All right. I'm losing my appetite. I've just had table seven grab me and tell me that if they cannot get their main courses in five minutes, they're gonna leave. Tamara? Yes, Chef. Table seven is you. Yes, Chef. This table is leaving the restaurant if the food is not there in one minute. How did that happen? We need those fish now. We need them plated now. I'm totally overwhelmed. I'm not trying to yell at her because I'm a Put them on the plate. I'm trying to yell at her so we can win. Yes, Chef. Guys, honestly, we've got tables that are gonna walk out any minute. Get plated, get plated. Yes, I gotta get this in one sec here. If they leave because of your dishes, it's gonna be huge consequences. They left. They couldn't Great. wait any longer. Table yeah. seven, Tamara has walked Just out. Just walked out. Table seven is you. That's never, ever happened in this restaurant. Let's go. Yes, chef. Work together as a team. I need you to help her with signs and need plating. Okay, I'm Okay, we have I enough medicine. Signs. Yeah. Okay, we lost one. Sucks, brutal. So we just gotta be focused. Service! But just as the red team starts to hit their rhythm, the blue team 
loses theirs. I need you on the pass. I've got to go in here. They're okay. going down. They need my help. All right, get in there. Chef Claudio takes over the kitchen. We just blew it. It really sucked. He comes in with so much confidence and just nails like seven venison at once. OK, next. We're doing them at the same time. OK, nice hot pan. We're almost there, guys. We can do this. With Claudio's help, the blue team gets back on track. Claudio, how long? You're going to have everything up in six minutes. Six everything. minutes. Everything. OK, start plating. Let's go. And the red team continues to pump out orders. Order! Some nice looking plates here Thank for you, the red chef. team. Service. We kind of just get the groove going. Calibets are ready. Service. Table eight. Let's go, guys. We got a rhythm now. Let's push it out. Oh, mine's good. And I like the halibut. And I like this coconut broth. It's kind of the best thing I've ever had. Oh, my God. It's really good. Service. Come on, service. Service. The last plate goes out. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Woo! Being here and working in a professional kitchen makes me want to have a restaurant more than ever. My father passed away when I was young, and he was a restaurateur. You did such a good job. My dad would have been so proud of me running this kitchen tonight. Red team, your plating was beautiful. Your appetizers were excellent, but you had a hard time getting your entrees out. One group of diners even left, something that's never happened in my restaurant. The table that walked out could cost us this challenge, for sure. Blue team, you also created gorgeous plates. Your food looked and tasted delicious, but your teamwork broke down. To such an extent, I had to go into the kitchen and completely take over. We have a very difficult decision to make. The team that won last night's challenge, the team that will be safe from elimination is the red team. Yes! Oh my gosh! Such a huge wave of relief. And not only are we not cooking, but we're in the friggin' top five. Oh, I'm so happy not being under pressure. That's all the shit. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you so much, Chef. Thank you. I'm so happy. You three are now in the top five of the biggest culinary competition in Canada. Please head up to the gallery. Good job, guys. With Chef Claudio having to come in and save our butts, I'm not surprised that we're the losing team. We're going to give you an important choice. Who would you like to cook with today? You can choose to cook with just one partner, or you can build yourself a team of three. Think carefully. Group dynamics can be complicated. Chef, I will be only picking one person today. My choice is going to be someone I know will work as fast as I can and will be on the same page as I am. And that person is Tamara. Maybe she should pick a third person, because if we do go to a pressure test, then it should be somebody that we can beat. The two of us are two moms. Nobody knows how to cook for a family better than two moms who do it every day. Moms get it done. So Tamara joins the red team. And Kayla, Eric, and Mike, you become the blue team. I'm a little worried about Kayla and Eric getting along, but they seem to be working together better. And I'd like to think I'm a pretty good cook, too, because I'm still here, and there's only five of us, right? Marita, your sister, your partner, and your daughter. Tamara, your husband and two kids. Hi! Mike, your wife, Lauren. Eric, your mother, father, and grandfather. And Kayla, your mother and father are here all the way from BC. <laughs> Seeing my family. Hi, sweetheart. This is the best surprise the judges could have given us today. Mama's been cooking. I have missed my family so much. It's been heart-wrenching, and when I saw them, it just got those fires going inside of me, just making me want to work harder. This is why I'm here. It's for them. I missed you. It's so good to see my wife, Lauren, after so long. But at the same time, I'm like, I know I'm about to cook probably the most important meal of my life. So I got to try and keep my emotions in check. But it's like impossible, right? So proud of you. I'm going to cry. So I see my mom, my dad, my grandpa, Eric, and it blows me away. Yeah, I really want to prove to my dad that I don't belong as an engineer, and I do belong working in the kitchen. I want to win this today for my parents. They've given me so much drive, and they've made so many sacrifices for me. I miss you, Daddy. I want to win this so bad for them. This is for them today. Fire them up. How many onions, Kayla? Six. Team consensus, we? Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. 
a lot of teamwork in the blue team, especially, very surprisingly, between Kayla and Eric. I need more carrots and garlic. Eric and I sometimes don't work fantastic together, but I just gotta get my game face on. I'm not worried about Kayla, because her family's here, she's super pumped and super driven. These are gorgeous, you guys. Can you get me all the spices? Seeing my family, I am ready to win this challenge. I'm making the cry chicken curry from scratch. There's a lot of things that can go wrong. Curry in a hurry. I'm roasting all my spices into a curry paste. I'm really worried that I don't have enough time to make the flavors really come out like how I would at home. Marita and Tamara could be at a potential disadvantage because there's only two of them in that team. If they had the third person, they could be doing what the blue team is doing and having someone do a lot of the prep because they're having to cook for 12 individuals today. You got the onions? Yeah. I'm getting the carrots ready. We're working fast, efficient, and making sure the flavors are fantastic. Kayla right now is getting the short ribs browned. We just got to make sure we get all that veg ready for it because it's got to cook in the beef fat. There's one bowl. I need the ginger paste and the garlic paste. OK, well, uh, let me turn down the heat. I put the garlic and ginger in, and they burn within a couple seconds. My pans are too hot, and I have to start over. There's a deep concern with Tamara right now. She burnt her curry. I put on a second pan of garlic, and it does the same. It burns right off the bat. If I burn one little speck of it, the whole flavor of the curry will be ruined. If this next curry burn, and we just serve plain chicken, honestly, I think I'm going home. Marita, this is almost done. I want you to just taste this, OK? Oh, my god. Delicious. Finally, I get it right. Thanks, Marita. You almost ready to start braising those? Yeah. OK. I'm making braised short ribs because it's an ode to my parents. My dad loves meat and potatoes. Some of them you can get a bit more caramelization on one side, but the main part is getting them in there. You don't have time to caramelize more. You got to get that thing braising, or it's going to be tough as nails. That amount of wine will take 20 minutes to cook down. Well, I hope she cooks it down before she put the lid on. Just get them boiling. Just get them boiling. I think she's got to get that lid on that pressure cooker. I mean, she's going to run out of time. We got to close them up. Oh, they're yeah, going to be closed up in five. There. Well, just put a lid on it. Just get them boiling. It looks like Kayla's having a hard time getting the uh, pressure cooker sealed up. That one's on, that one's not. The back two aren't. Swap, swap. No, swap, swap. Get them swap, swap. Get them So hot. I got it. You got it? They're good. You know what? We got to get that corn on. Michael Alvin, what do you think's happening to the red team right now? Look well, like panic is starting to settle in. Oh, sh This is too fresh corn. You know what? I'm just taking all the husks off. It's, it's... Yeah, yeah, do it. Whatever is easy, Tamara. Time's running out. We need to be able to at least put something on the plate. Tamara's actually charring the corn on top of the burner. It's a bad idea. Ah, that's a really bad idea. That soot that comes off the flame is disgusting to eat. 10 minutes. You have 10 minutes left. Very easily right now, this could all slip away from the blue team. The soup isn't really finished. You OK? Yeah. Eric still hasn't started rolling his egg roll wrapper yet. When are those egg rolls going in? I got to roll those out soon, yeah. man. I'm making my egg roll wrappers from scratch, and I'm definitely starting to panic. This is going to take me longer than I thought. I don't know where the time went, and I spent way too much time helping my team. Mike, what are you working on? Uh, making the chips now. That's garnished. I need the mushrooms in strips like these, the king oysters. Okay. One chance to impress my family, and I really don't want to let them down. Eric? Whoa, 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 no, no, like, they need to be Matchstick. This might take a while. I really want to prove to my dad that I don't belong as an engineer and I do belong working in the kitchen. This is the only chance I have. Final minute, come on! OK, I'm going to start plating these. I need that last pressure cooker now. Come on, Eric. Wow, these look ugly. I have to cut them in half. Can't get 12. Okay, plate that soup and we need the short ribs on. I've just got to finish the soup. i got to season it. Holy moly. The home cooks have just barely managed to plate a family-style meal for their loved ones. Last 30 seconds, I'm cutting egg rolls in half and just throwing them on the plate. It's not how I wanted to finish my plate. I wanted more garnish. I wanted with some finesse. And this is like another chance of just blue. It just really sucks. I'm happy enough with my soup, but at this point, I should be like, this is the best friggin' soup I've ever made in my life. And I just don't know if I'm at that point because I didn't get to taste it. The judges now join the families to sample the red team's karai chicken, cassava and plantain with tomato relish, and roasted corn with chili lime butter. 
and the blue team's short ribs with parsnip chips and figs, butternut squash and pear soup, and vegetable egg rolls. Please serve yourselves. It looks wonderful, doesn't it? Yes. The judges will take the family's feedback into account, but ultimately, they will choose the winning team. Right now, they're tasting our food, and it, that is so scary. It's really scary walking into the dining room. I want to look at everyone's plates to see what they've eaten, but then I notice that our corn wasn't eaten, so right away I think, oh, poop. I'm not too sure if we're going to win this challenge or not. I'm happy to see my family enjoy the meal and to see them experience this journey with me. But there's like a feeling inside of me that just knows the egg rolls weren't perfect. I know they were probably the weakest dish. I'm just disappointed. It's a super proud moment, but I'm worried about the scene. Mm, I'm gonna miss you. Seeing my family definitely adds added pressure. I really don't want to let them down. They see me get this far and to not come home with a grand prize, it's absolutely unacceptable. Oh, good luck, sweetie, okay? <laughs> yeah, the whole yellow, whole yellow. Yeah. My husband's last words were, you're not coming home until you have the title. And today gives me motivation. Today's the first day that I actually believe that I can win. I love you. Love you, Papa. I love you, too. She just told me, she's like, just mm. keep cooking. You've made it this far. Like, come on, you're so close. Mm. Mm. Love you. Thank Bye, you. love you. Love you. <laughs> Eric starts to cry, and I did not expect that from him. So it was a very cool moment to see him have emotion. You all did yourselves proud, but one team had a slight edge with their presentation and flavors. And that team was... the red team. <laughs> Congratulations, Marita and Tamara. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. You're safe from elimination and automatically have a place in the final four.